Hi, my name is Amber Kaiser. I'm an artist and a printmaker, and I live in the Houston, Texas area. And this video is for my friends and those at UTMB. I know it can get kind of lonely and kind of boring up there, but I just wanted to show you some, a couple tips with watercolor that you can try out there or on your own. And I hope you enjoy. So here I'm going to show you how tape can be useful when doing watercolor. This is just a blue painter's tape. And what I've done is I've taped the edges onto a piece of plexiglass. Now you don't have to tape your paper to plexiglass, you can tape it to any rigid surface that you don't mind getting water on. So here I have used the blue painter's tape to create this border edge. So when I paint and I peel off the tape, it'll be a very nice even edge around the side. Let's say I wanted to add some shapes. They also make a product that acts as a resist for paint, but if you don't have that, painter's tape works fine too. So I'm just gonna make some lines here just to show you an example of what I'm talking about. Now, of course, I have my watercolor palette I have a round tipped acrylic brush, a glass of water, and a paper towel or a napkin. So this is just an example to show you how this tape works as a resist for the watercolor. And remember, the thinner your ink is, the lighter the layer of color will be. You want to make sure that your painter's tape is pressed firmly against the edges. Now to create a gradient from one color to another, I'm going to start out with, let's say I want to go red to orange. Start with one end of the red. Remember we work in layers, so we go we layer thin, thinly on your paper. You feel like you have too much water, you don't want to just soak your paper. We can carry this all the way over. And then you're going to start from the other end with your other color and go right into that first color. So here we're creating an overlapping effect. Wait for that to dry for a moment. And you want to work it both ways where you're slightly overlapping into the other color and that'll create a smooth gradient effect. Go back over with the red into the orange. Because a successful gradient, you don't want it to look like blocks or like there's a line there. You want to see a smooth transition. And you can work that back and forth however much you need to to make that gradient smoother. And that's how you do that. You can do it in any colors or tones. I did it in two different colored greens here. So that's how that works. So now, once that dries a little, we can come back and do our tape reveal. When you're done with your finished piece and it's taken a moment to dry, you can then carefully and slowly peel back your painter's tape. This will give you a nice clean edge of the paper that you're working with. That's how you can do a quick and easy color study and see what different kind of shapes and compositions you can make with painter's tape. Here I'm going to show you some of the watercolor basics. We have wet on dry and wet on wet. So here, the wet on wet, I'm just creating a, a damp surface on the paper. And now the paper that you want to use for watercolor needs to be something with tooth, meaning something with a good amount of texture. So while it's still fairly wet, we can go ahead and get our color. And wet on wet 
is going to create more of a fuzzy or a blurred line like this. If you feel your paper is too wet, you can wipe off your paintbrush and soak up some of that in your brush. So see how the lines are not so sharp? That is a wet on wet technique. Now for the wet on dry, we're gonna do it on this side. That is just going straight onto the paper as it comes. Still gonna use, of course, get your paintbrush wet on your watercolor. But this, see how it has that edge right there? It's much more sharp than these edges here. Another technique to practice before you work on your final piece or whatever project piece you are working with is to practice transparency. So watercolor is all about transparency and thin layers. So what I like to do, make sure it's not too wet, start at one end and work it. I'm going to start with this thin layer here. Now let's say it gets a little dry right there. You can always come back and add more water to it. I'm doing this without putting any more ink on my brush. And I'm working it back and that's how you create transparency. If you let this dry, it doesn't take long. We'll start with this top layer is already dry. We can go back over with the same color and it'll create a more opaque effect to create those sharp lines. We can also go back in to create a gradient on our thin transparency here by not adding more pigment, but more water. And that'll create your transparency. Okay, that's how you create a gradient transparency to more opaque. And if you let them dry in between layers, this is still slightly damp, but you can go back over and make sharper line marks. You also can use a pencil if you draw very lightly on your paper to kind of find your outline or you could just paint straight onto the paper. Here I'm using a round tip brush which I like because it'll come into a nice fine point or spread out when I add water to it. 